Right, I'll just tell you, I've got to be honest, I actually did come off the bike. Yes, today I am going back out on my bike and I thought I'd share with you a few of the things I do to get my bike ready for a bike ride. Basically, check everything is um, bolted in and tight, then I do a few maintenance things. Hey, yeah, one of the main things you need to keep on top of is the chain. You need to make sure it's proper lubed up. Another thing I also do is make sure the tyres are nice and pumped up. Yeah, honestly, if I'm not reviewing a bike, I am riding the Huga. I absolutely love it. It gets me to work and back every day. I think we're due a heat wave in the next couple of weeks, so I'm going to be out on my bike. Well, it was forecast a really sunny and warm day today. It's Saturday morning, I've got up expecting to go on a lovely bike ride and... Uh, it's this horrible, grey, mushy, wet stuff again, so I'm still going to go out. I've, uh, I've planned for it. I'm going to do it. Yes, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Another adventure video today. Yeah, I am going to head out on the bike for a couple of hours. Got a few little bits and pieces planned today. I'm actually going camping tonight for the first time in, in a long time. I was hoping for a nice weekend. It's forecast all week to be really nice weather, but it's not playing ball at the moment. So hopefully um, the weather will <laughs> improve. I'm just going to probably nip to Hursley. It's a lovely little village on the outskirts of Winchester. There's a really nice cycle route actually I want to take you along. And I want to kind of explain in this video how uh, cycling and e-biking or just being out in the fresh air is really good for the mental health. I just want to really explain to you guys the benefits of it and how it's really helped me. I've suffered quite a lot this year with my mental health. I've not been quiet about it. I've been quite vocal about my struggles and I think it's important to talk about it. So I thought today I'd bring you along with one of my little adventures that I do most weekends when I'm off work. Um, and Sam's at work, she's at work today. She's on a 14 hour shift. So on my own and bored, the kids do their own thing. So I kind of want to run through some of the things I do just to force me to get out of the house and get some fresh air. I was going to say sunlight, but no, fresh air. We'll go with fresh air. I'm going to be wearing my ex Nito helmet. Do check out the link in the description if you want to purchase this. I did do a full on review in the week uh, on this, so go check that out. So that is the plan of action today. Yeah, I normally just put on a chest camera when I am going out for cycles, just in case somebody cuts me up and I've got them on video. <laughs> Yes, I'm using the Huga today, my favourite e-bike. My favourite road legal e-bike. Yeah, 4.2 mile cycle out here. It's a nice, um, it's a beautiful ride out here, a nice cycle way on a quiet road, so I thought it'd be ideal. It's a bit windy today, so you have to bear with me with the wind noise. I'm not sure what's actually happened to the weather. It's meant to be nice, honestly disappointed yeah so I thought I'd take you out today kind of show you my my routine for battling mental health I think it's an issue everybody seems to be struggling with at one point or another in their life I've already done 56 miles on this thing but mainly commuting to work I'm not really taking it out and run it for its paces so it'll be a good opportunity to test the bike's capabilities and the good thing about this is you don't have to uh, rely on the battery it's light enough to cycle if you do run out of juice, it's a lightweight bike. See, I like to get out early on a weekend. I don't like to mooch around laying in bed all day. I think that just makes things worse. Yeah, we all have shit going on in our lives that affect our mental health. And, you know, this is just the way I choose to deal with that. Um, I don't drink or anything, not heavily anyway. <laughs> so this is my therapy. Yeah, there's something about exploring with a bike. Stuff you can't do with a car just opens up all new avenues of possibilities and adventures and I love that. It also gives me the opportunity to uh, to explore the surrounding villages and stuff. So yeah this year didn't start the best for me. I'm not going to go into too much details but I have had a lot of personal issues at home. Um, so I decided to get out there just instead of moping around like I found myself doing I decided to get out there's something about just 
cycling away, the air hitting your face, and it's really good exercise. I've actually lost a little bit of weight doing this, even though I am on an e-bike. I've lost quite a bit of weight. My work trousers that didn't fit at the start of the year now fit. So you are still moving and exercising, even on an e-bike. You get those legs moving, you get your heart rate up. It's, it's fantastic. And just losing weight makes you feel better in yourself and increases your mental health. Bloody steps. Yeah, so what I'll do is I kind of show you what I got up to today on my cycle and I'll take you with me tonight for my camping trip. Yeah, I always think a good mental health cure as well is just be surrounded with people you love, family, friends. So I'm going camping tonight with my dad, spend a bit of time with him. Looking forward to that, I think it's so important. Yeah, first time I've ever been up here by a bike, so goes to show you just take it in a lot more in, on a bike, you just take in the scenery a lot more. Some amazing views up there. That's what it's all about for me, listen to that. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but it's just wildlife, I love it. Yeah, this is a lovely little um, side road all the way up to Hursley, which is a lovely little village in Winchester, just on the outskirts, but it's beautiful. It's very, very quiet. You can literally come along here. No one's gonna bother you. Saying that we've got a couple of runners coming, so they're gonna wonder what I'm doing. So yeah, this is my mental health therapy. It's worked a treat. I do really recommend getting out on a bike, it doesn't have to be an e-bike, but if you do suffer from uh, maybe disabilities or you have an issue, everybody who's watched the channel for a while knows I have an ongoing back issue, I've had surgery, and I just find an e-bike really, really helpful, helps me cycle. I'm not up to much these days. I'm no spring chicken, I'm uh, I'm not a youngster anymore. Because you're already in that environment, that's, that's what I got. Yeah, well, I, uh, I fill it with cameras just to try and get, uh, <laughs> different camera angles and perspectives of me riding nobody just wants to see a boring front facing pov but i have done a full review on this bike if you want to go check it out it will be linked in the description so there that is my weapon of choice today for this adventure it's a mini adventure we're not going far but it's still good to be out honestly i woke up this morning i just needed to get out needed some fresh air it, it is it really is such good therapy for the old brain uh, just fresh air countryside being out, exercise is the main thing. You always hear a lot of people say, yeah, they go to the gym. You know, whatever your therapy is for mental health, you know, as long as it works, stick to it. But mine is the the e-biking. I know a lot of people are not huge fans of it, but for me, I'm just documenting my struggles. I think it's really important to talk about mental health and, and, and I'm just showing you guys what I do to combat that, you know. So we do have some blue skies over there. It's threatening to, uh, to get nice. Right. There's so much effort when people set up the camera, ride past it and then come back and... <laughs> There's so much effort riding past the camera, then going back and riding past again, and then coming back to get it. But yeah, these, <laughs> these YouTubers put in a lot of work, didn't they, for uh, cinematic shots. Yeah, what I do like about this, it's flat. It's also very scenic, with just farmers' fields around. It's lovely. It's a really nice ride. Literally only six minutes to go now. So it's a perfect, perfect ride, especially for a beginner. And there's a nice pub at the end as well if you do want to drink. I might be a little bit early for a pint. And suddenly, just like that, it's sunny. Look at that. What a difference a bit of sunlight makes. A bit of vitamin D. I'm just going to stop here, actually. Oh. Yeah, this is what it's about for me. Just being out and exploring nature, just being out. 
look at that that is stunning just a cornfield but i don't know it's something so peaceful and tranquil about it it just just it just brings a smile to the face it really does honest to god if you if you have anything like this around your area get out get on an e-bike or a normal bike whatever you are capable of and just just try it honestly it's so so peaceful it's amazing yeah i've always kind of been a bit of a loner a bit of <laughs> i'm not i've never been really a sociable person i've always been one to kind of enjoy my own company um yeah i think as i've got older i've, I've got better at socializing but i've always been a bit of a loner um but i like it i like my own company but it can be dangerous at times to be alone with your thoughts it's uh yeah, it can be a lonely and depressing place at times. So that's why I think it's important to keep busy, keep doing something and, you know, find something you enjoy. Hobbies are so important. And uh, this is a new one, you know, who would have thought it? I'm always very open-minded. I'm always looking to try new things in life and uh, take on new challenges. And when I got offered an e-bike for the channel, I was like, yeah. And then I, f I fell in love, I really have. Um, I know a lot of people keep asking me what I do with all the bikes when I've reviewed them. Well, I've given a lot away to family members, you know, I'm not in it to, to sell them and make money. I've sold a couple because we just needed the space, but very, very cheaply. Um, but yeah, I've made sure family members have them. My dad's got one, Sam's dad's got one. So they're older gentlemen, they won't mind me saying. So uh, they're really good for exercising, getting out. Sex ray, I had little ducks on my boxes. I'm essentially a man child. I don't think I'll ever change. Whenever I go to your house, man, it looks like I'm missing you. Makes me feel nauseous. And I start to talk. The sun's gone back in. Typical, isn't it? Yeah, Hursley is a nice little village. There's a couple of nice little pubs here. One called the Dolphin, just up here to the right. Do some nice food in there, like the dolphin. Right, we're there. Just drove through Hursley. I'm now looking to perhaps move to Shawford to show you a little filming location, actually. It's another 2.9 miles. We've got 85% battery, so I'm fairly confident we'll be able to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you feel so inferior when you drive past people with massive hogs, Harley Davidsons, and any kind of motorbike. And there's me on this thing. <laughs> does make you feel a little bit inferior if you can hear rattling it's the phone holder it rattles around quite a lot i'm looking to get a new one yeah, we're about 13 minutes away 85 percent battery i've been here before haven't i you yeah, never ever trust the battery percentage on your e-bike one thing i've learned the hard way you have to do your own tests don't ever trust the percentage bar saying that this one's pretty decent 
Right, I've just had a, I've got to be honest, I actually did come off the bike. I, uh, I don't know if you saw the drone footage I got up that country road. Basically, I was stupid. I was trying to control it with one hand or keep an eye on it with one hand and steer with the other. And I um, wasn't looking where I was going and I hit a mud patch and the bike skid out from underneath me and I went down. I'm not sure if the drone picked it up. If it did, I'll put it in. But yeah, that was a daft thing. So completely my fault. The bike's all right, I think. It's a bit muddy. I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I'm an advocate for safety. Then I'll go and do a stupid thing like that. Just being honest with you guys, yeah. I was trying to get a really good drone shot and uh, yeah, that could have been uh, fatal if a car was coming the other way. So if you are going to try stupid things like that, do try it on very, very, very quiet country roads. Oh well, nobody got hurt. Hey, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. I think the shot was worth it. <laughs> But no, these things do happen. Um, it's a learning curve, isn't it? All trying to get the perfect shot. Yeah, we're now in the beautiful little village of Otterbourne, near Shawford, really nice. I'm enjoying this today, apart from nearly uh, losing my life. I'm having a good time just being out. The weather's a bit naff though. A bit disappointed about the weather. Yeah, this filming location is, <laughs> it's a really iconic one actually. It's from the 90s sitcom One Foot in the Grave. I've mentioned it before when I did the uh, Words of Gummidge one. It's actually where Victor Meldew died. He got run over It's Shawford train station where he stepped off the platform and obviously got hit by the lady. Uh, this is where they filmed it. I seem to have come to a dead end. It's nice round here, but yeah, this definitely isn't Shawford train station. I think I put the wrong thing on the old uh, maps, right? Just go reroute. <laughs> Reverse. Hey, that's what it's about on an e-bike adventure. It's all about adventure and getting things wrong. Yeah, right. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. Now we're off to Shawford station. Six minutes, 0 0.9 miles. And there it is, Shawford train station, where Victor got off the train, and that is where he died. And this is where he got run down, Shawford station. Yeah, nothing special, I just wanted to kind of document where it is. So these are the stairs Victor would have come down here. And he was waiting right here, where he got run over. This is the famous location. I haven't got anything to hand to match up the shots, but it was pretty low down, like here. Where the car, the lady fell asleep and hit him and all you see is his hat falling to the road around here. Not changed much, does it? such a good series as well so iconic like I said a lot of you probably won't know what I'm talking about but uh, this is where it happened Shawford train station yep coming down those steps out into roundabout where I'm stood the lady fell asleep coming this way swerved and knocked Victor off a roundabout where I'm stood here and all you see is his hat falling to the road and that is the end down this side you've got a telephone box there, that's very rare now, I don't see many of them, and a really nice pub. There we go. Victor Meldew's final resting place. I feel like they should have a plaque up or something. It's actually a really nice walk route or cycle route. Southampton's only 8 miles along the river Itchen, which is that way. I'm not going to do it today, but maybe in the future. I thought there was a plaque on the pub, but I can't see anything. Now do something Waste your time You do something Waste mine I read the poems about my sorrows I read pretty songs for my one love A chance came into my brain stuff 
we go guys, pretty much at home now. I'm in Winchester anyway. Just gotta go over this busy road. And I'm pretty much home. I'm down to 56% battery, so that the bikes did it right. The bikes uh, done fine. I'm quite surprised actually, the bike's done really well. Because they're not massive distances, but to get around and about. Yeah, I'm quite impressive battery. So this has really helped it. I've been out a couple of hours now and I'm, I'm already feeling great about myself, my fitness. It's a great way to start the day. A nice cycle. And I have been cycling as well. I've done a fair bit of cycling today. Not all motor, I promise. Yeah, it's lovely around here. One of the, the nicest trails. The only thing is you get a lot of walkers, so it's hard to ride down here. But the bike stood up to the test, it's done all right. It's a bit muddy now. I need to go home and clean it. But no, it's lovely around here. Sorry guys, hug us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers guys. Well that was a fucking nightmare, getting through that lot. They don't like moving, bloody walkers. But down these back streets in Winchester, they filmed the uh, the Crown. It's a popular Netflix series. I think it's Netflix or BBC. I don't know. I didn't watch it, but yeah, they filmed a lot of it around here because it looks so old-fashioned. Plus the Winchester Cathedral as well, which is a, uh, a landmark here. But you can definitely see why they filmed it here. I mean, look at the architecture. Definitely see why they use this as a, a filming location. And just see how pretty it is. Yeah, you can just about make the Winchester Cathedral there, poking its head out the trees. This is actually the location for the Winchester Christmas Market. Got the King Alfred statue there as well. Home. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Good mental health workout. <laughs> Back home now. I'm just uh, getting everything ready for tonight. I am going camping tonight. The weather is beautiful now. Uh, so I'll show you my garden. I actually got some new furniture yesterday. So this is our seating area at the top. We're going with this fake grass next year. We're just gonna do the whole lot, the whole garden. It's just really, really pricey. Cause this grass is just, it's just a mess. Giant shed to go in this corner so I can store my bikes and barbecue cause that looks a mess. Yeah, we picked this up from home base. I think it was 235 on offer. A really nice corner seating area just to sit down here have a pims in an evening and it's directly in the sun there so it's a beautiful seating location we've got to bin the hot tub because it's, it's got a punch and it keeps going down so we've, we've tried to fix it numerous times My bloody uh, helmet here. Yes, yeah, so that's basically my little adventure today on the e-bike. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time, apart from falling off my bike. Um, hopefully the drone uh, captured some of it. I haven't edited it at this point, so I don't know. Hopefully. First thing Sam asked when I, um, I told her, did you film it? 
So, <laughs> so that's pretty much uh, that, to be honest. Um, I've got to tidy up quick because Sam's at work. I don't want her to come back to a mess. I'm going to probably set off about two or three, get, uh, get to camp, set up. This video is going to be quite long, so I'm going to make that a separate video, just showing kind of what goes into my camping adventures and uh, the stuff I use. And again, more mental health uh, therapy and I'll, I'll show all that in a separate video. Here we are going to uh, cook up a storm as well, make some food, nothing special, tin chili and rolls and uh, bacon egg rolls in the morning. So we like to keep it simple when we go camping. I don't go cooking up steak and chips or anything like that, even though I could do, but I just like to keep, keep it simple, keep it simple. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do give me a huge thumbs up and let YouTube know that you enjoyed this type of content and it kind of pushes me up the uh, algorithm. I know this isn't what a lot of you wanted to see, but hopefully you can just go with it for now. You know, it is the new direction currently. Well, I just need to sort my uh, mental health out. After the last video I made actually explaining I won't be doing fairs anymore, I have like 200 people unsubscribe. I had quite a lot of unsubscribers, but uh, it's their loss, isn't it? Uh, but the guys, for those of you who stayed, thank you so much. I really do appreciate for those of you who stayed, I really, really appreciate it. Um, it just gives me a motivation to do it, really. Um, yes, I enjoy making videos. It's what I do it for. I love making content and videos and just being unique and different. Um, but of course, when, when people watch, it does give you that little added motivation to, to carry on doing it because it is a lot of hard work uh, especially today when I set up different camera angles and fly the drone when landed and crash so yeah um, it is hard work but I, I do really enjoy it I really enjoy just uh, making content in general so I'm so happy that some of you guys are enjoying it and watch and hopefully you can kind of get something out of it as well for you and maybe just maybe give an e-bike a go because honestly it's great fun Thank you.